your boy Darren Keyson. This is Darren Keyson presents the television show. Sitting here with an upcoming film director, student extraordinaire, Mr. Stephen Ford. What's going on, Mr. Ford? How are you? I'm good. Thanks for having me. Of course. So listen, let me just bring you off the speed. Um, and I introduce you to Mr. Ford through Jabari. You know, our favorite host of Hot Spot. Shout out to Jabari. And Stephen did this, which I'll let him explain, short film based on a true story. Listen, all I can say is it's amazing, which I will be showing it to you all in part of this interview. Stephen, explain to the audience exactly what this project was and, and how it got started. Well, pretty much Live For Me is a student short film. And the concept behind the film was to create a My Life project. Okay. So each of the students in the class had to take a dramatic moment from their lives and turn it into a short film. Okay. Strangely enough, right before the class even started, I witnessed a horrible accident where a young man lost his life. He was struck and killed by a train mm -hmm. at full speed. So that was devastating to me for obvious reasons. So I knew, I knew that that was a dramatic moment that I wanted to turn into a short film. So okay. did a little research about him. Found out he was a young actor the same age as me. Wow. 25 years old and here he is in a prominent life and he got killed you know, and I'm sure he didn't expect that so the theme behind the, the film is to kind of live life to the fullest because you, mm -hmm. you really don't know when your last day is and it's, it's never so real when you see somebody die. I'm like that. Now as a film director, what was the process like taking this traumatic experience and really conceptually putting it together to turn it into the product it is now? Well, I had to really think about how to approach the story because I didn't want it to be just a story about a guy losing his life. I wanted okay. to have some meaning to it. And I had to incorporate elements of my real life. So it was kind of easy just applying you know, things from my past to this film. So, you know, back in the day, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with life. I knew I wanted to, to sing, I knew I wanted to write movies, but I didn't have the, the drive. So I, was, I wasn't organized. So my character in the movie, you know, doesn't have any skills, really. Okay. He knows he wants to make it, but he don't have the, the skills that he needs. So he meets this guy who is on top of it, who knows what he's doing, and trying to give him advice, but he don't really yield to the advice until the end of the movie where he finds out why it was so important. Okay. Okay. So now I know who that character is already. I ain't gonna say nothing, but okay, I got you. <laughs> so listen, when you said, all right, this is what I'm gonna do, here's my concept, here's my treatment, Looking at this short film, you picked the perfect characters to play each role. They played the roles to a T. What was that process like? It was a lot of fun. I got experience, you know, auditioning talent, you know, because I got to learn how to do that. And a lot of people came out of really surprised at all these actors who, you know, I can't pay, but they, they're committed to this project coming out mm -hmm. and wanting to be a part. So that was a lot of fun. And one of the main characters, uh, Mickey Wright, he was a lot of fun. His character, I knew immediately that I wanted him to play the role because he just had this this energy, but overall it was a lot of fun just looking at everybody come out and audition. Came out really great, so. I like that. So now, what's the feedback been from this project and from really bringing it to life, how you did it? The feedback has been amazing. A lot of people are telling me, you know, I think you're gonna make it one day, you're gonna be famous one day, and it, it just means so much to hear that from, from people just off of a student film. Mm -hmm. And my mom is like my biggest supporter, so she's going around home telling all my friends and family about mm -hmm. it. And, it's already got about 12,000 views on YouTube, and just mm -hmm. everyone that's seen it's giving nothing but positive feedback, so I'm just very proud of it. Where do you want to take it from here? I actually thought about writing a sequel to the film. Wow. Um, that's probably the next step in the process, but right now I'm just really focusing on just uh, finishing school and just increasing my body of work because, you know, the film industry here is just rapidly growing, so I just, Definitely. Want, to, I just want to stay apart and stay active. And just, you know. So if you had to classify your skills as a director, what would be your genre of choice? My genre? Um, I really like horror. Wow! I like horror films, but any any type of mystery or suspense, okay. any type of thriller, those are my, that's my genre that I really, really want to write. Okay. As you notice with this film, it's, you know, it's kind of like a drama, but it has this suspenseful edge to it. Definitely. So that's, I think that's my forte. I my like that. So you gonna write me in, the, in a role soon, right? I'm gonna write you up. You pop it on set. Listen, what? Listen, I'm not gonna keep sorry. Y'all let him know. So as you know, for the people out there who are gonna want to find you, gonna want to see you, what's the Twitter, the Facebook? Put out there for me. You can find me on Facebook slash Sky King Leo, all three words. And my Twitter page is at this Stephen Ford. D Stephen with a PH Ford, all one word. 
That's so you can find out what I'm doing and my latest work and whatnot. So, through this project, did it teach you anything about yourself that you didn't know already? Yeah, because you know, I, I don't like really, uh, let me take the name, I'm sorry. It just kind of taught me how to be confident on set, really. Okay. And just kind of learn how to think on your feet and deal with things as they come because it was, I was really stressed during the process of getting the film completed, but by the end of it, it was just so amazing that it was, it was all worth it. So, Got it. so Mr. Ford, are you shy? I'm very shy. I don't like being in front of the camera. So, so I'm behind the <laughs> But still, like, you're a film director. Film directors can't be shy because you got to interact with everybody. That's what all my friends say. I, I, I got to get used to it. We don't have to do interviews and whatnot, so I'm trying. So where did this passion come from? I just like to create. I like to express myself through creativity. So I spend a lot of time myself, you know, writing or just thinking out ideas and to take an idea and actually make it happen to a real film. It's, it's, it's a major process, so that's kind of what I think. I just like to create. Now for that audience member out there who's like, you know what, he's doing what I want to do. He's inspiring me, his story's inspiring me. And this film wants to see it, you want to inspire them. What's that one piece of advice that you wish someone would have told you coming into this game that you now want to pass on to somebody else? Honestly, I think uh, education, of course, is, is very important. I mean, you don't have to necessarily go the school route, but uh, committing to education is, is, is very important because I've had you know, struggles along the way. I've been in school for years now, but I'm almost there. You just can't worry about what everybody else is saying. You really just got to keep going and stay active. If you want to make something happen, you got to stay active in, in your field. If you're not doing anything, you're not going to get anywhere. You really got to stay active and keep going. You got to know it's cliche, but you really got to keep going. Makes sense. Tell me this. What's your top three favorite films? Top three? I know Kill Bill is probably one of my favorite movies. Yes. I actually got to write a... a Shout out to Quentin Tarantino. Yeah, he's my favorite director, so... Um, and I like Scream. I know that's, that's a classic word. Okay. To me, it came out when I was coming up. I just really liked the way that story was written. And, uh, man. Well, that's like six right there. <laughs> Bill got three. Right. <laughs> so here's my question. Now, between me and you being anybody here but us, right? <laughs> why are sequels not as good as the originals? From a film director standpoint, I need to know this. Because if you do a prequel, <laughs> I, I'm going to expect you to kill it. Yeah. But you know, traditionally speaking, we haven't had it where sequels are not, as, not never as good as the originals. I think, honestly, it's because a lot of people try to do too much with the okay. story. They try to take it you know, off the track a little bit. So I kind of kept that in mind, you know, and I approached the sequel to it for me. I just know I want to keep the story going, but not do too much. Keep okay. people still, you know, drawn in just enough for them to want to know what's going to happen next. So that's kind of my strategy, but just not to overdo it. I think that's the problem. A lot of people just overdo Definitely. the story or take it somewhere that should shouldn't go. Definitely. Now, tell me this: as a film director, is it easy? It's not easy. I, I wouldn't say it's easy. You gotta have confidence, you gotta have some type of leadership skills, or say, and you gotta know how to communicate to people. Because Definitely. some people, you know, if they, they look at you and they say you're a student, they may not know how to talk to you, and it could be the same you know, way, vice versa. But you, I think communication is important, just having a little bit of confidence. But it's, it's not easy, I'm gonna say. Now, in this element, doing what we do, I know I have days, I'm like, look, I'm going to the towel, I'm gonna walk away from it, I don't want it no more. Do you have those days? And if so, what forces you to keep going? Well, as a director, the project, getting the project complete is always like the number one goal. So even if you're having a stressful time on set, if you have to walk away, I, I recommend doing that. Because sometimes you just gotta get your mind together. But the project is what's most important. So you just gotta keep keep that going. If you gotta take a second, do that. But you always gotta keep the project first. So. Mm -hmm. Now from an artistry standpoint, and you can't say Quentin Tarantino, <laughs> What director that's current inspires you? I might get a lot of feedback for this, but I actually like what Tyler Perry is doing. I think he has a very positive image. Shout out to Tyler. Hey, Tyler, how you doing? I would love to, to work with him one day, but some people, you know, they, they criticize his films and say it's the same things and whatnot, but I just respect him as a person. I think he has a really positive energy and he tries to keep a message in his films. So I really, really respect that about Tyler. Definitely. You know what? Listen, I love Tyler. We deal with this. Now do me a favor, for me, for Diamond Kisan, and for the Diamond Confidence family, please introduce to us this film 
in which we're about to be blessed with. Give it to us. Give us a good intro. Let us know what to expect. And let us know what you want us to take away from it. Hi, everybody. My name is Stephen Ford, and this is my film, Live For Me. It's a very special piece dedicated to Nicholas Ugly. Rest in peace. Shout out to Jabor C. and his promo team for help pushing the project. I just hope that you can watch this and just get some type of message from it, whatever it is, and just take it with you. And I hope it has some type of change in your life because you got to live for yourself while you got the time. So live for me. Enjoy. register now and come tomorrow? Next registration is tomorrow at 8 a.m. Now, if you'll excuse me. 8 a.m.? Wait, I have to work in the morning. Sir, wait. A a come on, 8 a.m.? Closed. Cowards die many times before their death. The valley never tastes of death, but only once. <laughs> Shakespeare. I already have my audition. Thank you. How was your audition? Miss registration. You gotta be on top of it, man. You better get it online tonight before midnight. But it's still time left. Good luck, man. I gotta figure out where I'm going.
Uh, uh, yeah, Dante, Dante, look, man, uh, you're going to have to forgive me, okay? I, I can't come in today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, I'm, I'm really sick. No, no, I, I really am sick, Dante, I'm serious. It's, Dante! Human flesh for Mickey Wright. Okay, look, sir. The train stations were closed, okay? I walked all the way from Limbo. All I asked is that I could register and audition, please. Headshot resume and confirmation number, please. <laughs> um, uh, uh, okay, wait, sir. Can, I mean, can I bring them back like an hour or so? Or, uh, okay, do you mind if, if, I, if I email it to you guys? Uh, wait, sir. Men at some times are masters of their fate. The fault, dear Brutus, is not in our scars, but in ourselves. We are underlings. You would do it. Okay, look, save all of that Shakespeare stuff, man. I can't do it today. You have the opportunity to audition for the biggest director of your time, and you don't even bring a headshot or a resume. Okay, and? So what, man? Who are you? Look, I'm just here to help. Think, man. Do you really even want to be an actor? Do I want to be an actor? Of course I do, man. You know, either that or a singer or you know, a dancer or you know, maybe even uh, yeah, a... Yeah, yeah, Good luck tomorrow, man. Still open audition. Hold on, it's an open audition? Hold on, wait, man. Hold on, wait, yo, wait, man. I mean, what, do I still have the register or what? Can I just come or? But do you even know where you're going? But just remember. Go means go. What, is, what does that mean? Steven, hurry up, man. I gotta do my facial. Hey, look, Darrell, can I use your laptop real quick, man? All, all I gotta do is register online for my audition, and, and you can have it back. It's important, man. Seriously. Yo, man, I'm download something. You mess it up. You know how you are. Hey, bro, can I get around to go down? No, man. I'll take you tomorrow before my audition, so. I'm not gonna work in the morning. Dang, for real? Yeah, man, now come on, man. Courtney, I was right on the street, man. Give me a ride. Come on. No, man. Go away, man. Hey, hey, cut that music down, too. I'm mama trying to sleep. Headshots, resume, confirmation line. All here. And you even showed up to your own funeral on time. Congrats. You're the first one here. Next. Next! Let's go, people I don't have all day. It's 8 a.m. Where is the so-called talent? I'll check with security, sir. You did prepare a Shakespearean piece, right? Uh, you said what now? Uh, hey, wait one second, I gotta practice my mom in the law. Wait, hold. Uh, hello, Mr. Wright. Go! Do you want me to leave or I'm next? Security, get this in 
insult to the art out of my breathing space. And when you're done, you're fired for bringing such foolishness to my presence. When Mickey Rice says go, you go. No second chances. Now where is the guy from one? He was superb. For the love of Christ, find him. Here he is, your humble majesty, sir. This is him. He was brilliant. He was flawless. Whoa, ma'am, you can't be in here. Mr. Wright, I need your autograph, please. Hold! I really messed up. I'll never be able to fix it. Look, if, if, if I could get your autograph, it would truly mean the world. I'll do anything, please. Please, I'm begging you, please. Hmm. Now that's talent. Get her name, get her agent. Are you still here? You get the hell out of my audition right now. Right damn now. Right damn now. Fox News reporting honor killing America returns. It's okay, son. There'll be more auditions. It's like I said, son. You gotta stop being lazy and do what you gotta do. Unlike your sorry-ass brothers, you have potential. Yeah, my kid. I know. It's not a lucky person. Boy, luck has nothing to do with it. Luck is when preparation meets opportunity. That's all. Remember that. The young man who was struck and killed at Lindbergh train station two days ago has been identified. Nicholas Utterly was 25 years old and not from Georgia. He was only in town to audition for famous Hollywood director Mickey Wright. Bystanders say he dropped his phone on the train tracks and made a bold move by jumping down to recover it. Unfortunately, he did not make it out in time before being struck by a northbound train. Friends and family from his hometown have been stunned by his death. Nick's girlfriend of two years, Rebecca, leaves us with these words. Words. I was late picking him up from the audition. I, I feel like it was all my fault. I live your life because you never know when your time will come. That's horrible. He was superb. He was brilliant. He was flawless. Okay, I walked all the way from Limburg. Train station was closed. Okay, struck and killed two days ago. Had struck and killed days ago. Had struck and killed days ago.
You know, I have no words. You know, I love this body of work. I thank you for it. I appreciate it. I needed it. Listen, you all, I'm going to tell you the real truth. I cried. I, when I got the link, I seen it. And at first I was laughing and joking. It's very entertaining. Then I busted out in tears. Y'all yeah, know I'm a bit soft. But I thank you for it because you opened up our eyes to something that is not only current, but it's relevant to all of us. You never know when the day may come. So truly live each day as if it's your last. Because I try to live a life with no regrets whatsoever, you know? So on behalf of myself, Diamond Kisan, Diamond Kisan presents the TV show, the brand, I thank you. I appreciate you. One more time, tell them that Twitter, where they can find you at, because listen, we got to take this to the top. Uh, the Twitter name is at the Stephen Ford, and make sure you check out youtubecom slash Stephen Ford Works to see some of my uh, past work. So stay tuned. Listen, you all. I promise you, I bring you the latest. I bring you the greatest. I bring you the newest, the exclusive. This is Stephen Ford. This is history in the making. This is what winning looks like. I'm Don Kisan. This is Don Kisan presents. Till next time.